Hey, good morning boys and girls. This is Clay of Major Disappointment Models and today is the 25th of March and it's the morning here in Washington. I don't know what time it is where you're at or when you're going to be watching this. But uh, with the lockdown in Washington State, got lots of time to sit around the office and build models. So this is part two of uh, the Tamiya T34-85 uh, build and uh well when you got nothing to do you pretty much get it done so it's all built uh, again i got little kids as you can hear in the background yelling and whatnot so i i uh i really can't paint and it's still a little too cold to be out in the garage working it and trying to paint out there so uh i just put them together and that's a good thing about armor is you can put them together and later on you can paint them so the uh, it's a great kit this is actually a, if you checked on the sprue I think this box I said was uh, 1987 was the copyright um, but on the sprue it shows 1974 so they're still using the uh, old sprues and whatnot uh, not a bad kit um, the things I don't like are like uh, the fuel tanks here you can see the seam coming right through it you know hopefully it'll spray out it's a two-piece gun barrel with a seam on the top seam on the bottom and then trying to align the, the little tip here you know that's really hard uh, I don't have any of the handrails on because those will snap off as I'm painting so I will wait to put those on later and these are the extra parts so they give you a lot of handrails. They give you a couple of, uh, I believe it's the front mantle, or not mantle, but the front drive covers here. There's two of them in there, um, and I got one on the tank. Uh, some extra tracks, and some extra poly caps, some other stuff. So there's a lot of extra parts, you know. So I always hate it when you get to the end of a model and you go, man, what's all this extra parts? But they were smart enough to put in the instructions uh, what the extra parts were. And, of course, you had to look for it. It's like on the last page, way in the back, blah, blah, blah. Um, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it without jiggling the camera. So, of course, you see it's the last page. We're putting everything together. And a small little burb at the end saying, not used, and these numbers. So, you know, it makes it a little difficult when you're trying to put a model together and you go hey where does this part go hey where does this part go you know you've got a sprue tree with still a bunch of pieces on it now the good thing is that uh, this is done and I can move on to the next one well trying to get to my stash in the garage because it is full and uh, there's all kinds of stuff but I happen to have these laying around the office I found another variation of the Mighty T-34 and a matter of fact they use the same damn sprues and this is an old uh, Soviet tank destroyer the SU-85 now it's built on a T-34 chassis here so the only thing that's really different is the upper part and the gun but basically it's the same damn model so they use the same damn sprues same lower hull so I already got that put together it's really funny the T-34 because I'm sitting here and I've got you know uh, right now I have uh, SMKR on uh, my computer and I've been watching his bills of his DB5 and Back to the Future DeLorean and and R2D2 and now I'm on the GT500 and the GTR which are really nice I mean the GTR is really nice looking car and it's a big car but uh, so I'm, I'm killing time got the wheels already together so it's like first or second step and then here are the sprues and I know it's hard to see because I got white paper back there and everything but this is the exact same sprue out of the T-34 and don't know if you're going to be able to read the date 
But it's Tamiya Company, 1974. There you go. So this is the same. This sprue is different. Um, it's the D sprue. Yeah, too much white. The D sprue. But because it's got the gun, the mantlet covers, and whatnot, it's a little different. And then this sprue here, I think it's a C sprue. No, it's a D sprue, so the other one must have been the C. This says D. This one has uh, the front glacis plate and some of the engine covers and the, the, the driver or the observer who's just sitting there. So this is a different sprue. That's a D. And that's a D. So they're both D sprues. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. So, and that, you know, three sprues. So you can basically see how, uh, how easy these kits are. And hopefully by the end of today, I'll have this one done. So I already got the gas tanks, you know, they're going to need to be filled. They're just, they're just not, you know, got big holes there, you know, but not too bad. Got a little sub assemblies going. So, and, uh, this one was, let me see, I don't know, it's, I was reading the history of the uh, SU-85, and uh, the translation is pretty terrible. You know, whoever did the translation, um, it gets the gist across, but it's it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see, there's a copyright date on here. No, but, uh, yeah, I don't see a copyright date, but this one already, it's it's. No longer says MRC, it says uh, Tamiya America in California. And then now, let me see if I get some light. Now it has those 35 numbers. 35072 is the kit number. But again, the sprue on this one, dated 1974 for uh, the big sprue, the A sprue. And this one, let's see if it has a date on it. Nope, no date there. Looks like 1978. I don't know. Can't. Pretty small. So, uh, let's see. No copyright on this. But, this being a newer Tamiya, it has the layout of the sprues, what's on them, and whatnot. So, this sprue's already gone. The C sprue basically just has the wheels, and then the B is the poly caps, which is right here. So, all right, so that's what I'm doing right now. Going back to watching my videos, and I'm going to post this one so that all of us that are sequestered in our homes we have something to look at. Talk to you guys later. And we'll see you around.